Hello people, it's Cole. Today I thought it would be fun to show you some more of my miniature collection um, and actually unbox something that I've uh, never, never unboxed for some reason. <laughs> um, I, uh, I have these super funny little like micro mega mini miniatures. <laughs> You can see, like, <laughs> they're really small, and they're all this, like, dumpy brown color, which I'm quite charmed by. These miniatures are from a craft store uh, in the suburbs, in the suburbs of Chicago. I used to work out there. This was in, like, 2010 when I graduated from college, I had a job in a library out in the suburbs in Evanston, Illinois, and it, that's really far, that's like a really far commute for me. Um, I live in the city, so I was like having a reverse commute that most people would have where they would be com living in the suburbs, commuting to the city to work, I went in reverse. So I was had this really long, <laughs> like hour plus long train commute that... Uh, was just like me, like me on the train alone, because no one was going that direction at that time of day. So I would go out there and I had my sad little job. It wasn't sad, it was fine. But because I do love libraries, of course. But, uh, you know, the pay was bad. <laughs> it was like we were in a recession. This was like 2010. Um, and so to, to cheer myself up and to make my little not little, my big commute more tolerable, I would go to this craft store in Evanston, which was called Tom Thumb, and I would buy these little miniatures, like really little <laughs> miniatures, as just like a treat for myself to, uh, I don't know, have something to look forward to, have a nice inexpensive little thing to make my uh make my day better <laughs> so this is where these came from that's where these little miniatures are from and they're uh they're quite strange they are they're clearly very um olden old maiden type miniatures they're like for some reason specifically pre-electricity, <laughs> pre, uh, pre-plumbing. There's like a water pump right there. <laughs> I don't know why they're old-timey like this, but they are. They're very cheap. I couldn't afford much. I can see right from this one that I never opened. That it was $2.29. Some That was in my budget for fun at the time. I love that they're all this ugly, dumpy, sad brown color. They're all this color but then they have gold detailing on them, gold little paint details. So despite the fact that they're really small and really simple, they do have kind of a surprising level of, de of detail, sort of. Like, I love the grandfather clock. You can see that. It has a clock face, has little clock hands that are just slightly askew with time. You know, showing a specific time looks like uh, 314 um, and it has the little gong thing and it's hollow in the back because I don't know because these are a budget item but love that grandfather clock I love this little like I don't know it's like a little dresser type thing but it comes with a mirror and the mirror is removable and it's really reflective like a mirror so this just sits on there, and then I suppose you'd probably do a... Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> like a wash basin type thing, right? Because we're, we're, this is pre-plumbing, pre so we have a little pitcher and a little bowl. It's very cute, a little white, white pitcher and bowl to go along with. These... 
the accessory pieces that go with the miniatures are pretty spectacular, like this little gas lamp. I mean, come on, look how great that is. Put that on our desk. Maybe we'll take one of these numerous chairs. <laughs> I think this one is like a kitchen situation. That looks to be kitcheny, so we'll put the water pump on there. There's this, which is like a dresser or a, or a desk. Uh, the knobs are all painted nicely. Gold detailing again. I do think we have like a like a kitchen setup. This is like an ice box, right? If you look at that. Definitely like an ice box, like a traditional ice box. Maybe let's uh, maybe let's try to make some sense of this. So we have our kitchen here. We have a pantry and a water pump. Maybe we'll put the bowl on that place to, for the water to go. The water pump is so wonderful, this little red item. Everything is just so tiny and so <laughs> lovely. But also, like, I need, oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I need, tw like, tweezers to manage this stuff because it's so small, it's falling. I'm not sure why I ended up with so many tables and chairs. That's just, uh, we practically have enough here to uh, start our own restaurant. This was, at the time that I was acquiring these little miniatures, I was, um, this was like right when I started my Tumblr, 2010. So, obviously, many, many years before I would be on Instagram, on YouTube, this was like the kind of earliest time when I was getting into social media stuff and into making, you know, content and art, creative endeavors for social media. I don't know. It was like, a, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just working at this library and <laughs> shelving books and... Having, um, I remember I only had like an, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a, what is that iPod called? Like the one that only is like little. So I would, I had like, I don't know what, 10 songs <laughs> that I would just listen to. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't even have that in the beginning. And when I first started working there, I would shelve with no music. And I just shelved books all day in this library. And that made me feel like I was really like, like losing it. I mean, you can imagine as an adult, I go to my library job, shelve books all day in silence, like a creep. And then I go to the miniature store and buy these little miniatures and just like sit on the train and like ride home and do it again every day. <laughs> that was my life. It's like kind of sad. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> it was fine. It was a thing, a thing, a thing I did to get to where I am now, but, uh, yeah. Should we, uh, I'm like, I'm like feeling like anxious about opening this because this is like, I don't know why I never opened this. I just never did. I just was like, I guess I was saving it. I'm kind of a saver. I tend to save special things. Um, I don't know why I have got some feeling of scarcity about things, uh, so I never opened it. I just, I just held on to it, and it just seemed like, well, might as well just open it today on camera. Why not? I really love the packaging. It's a dollhouse, of course. You can see it's like a traditional kind of... I feel like I need to move these out of the way. Hang on. The little package is just really great. It's a dollhouse. It's got this uh, curtained window up top. There's like a there's like a little turret, you know. It's like a traditional kind of Victorian style house. This wrist brick chimney is so wonderful. Red roof, mini dollhouse furniture. It says 
four dollhouse, mini scenes and trims, hutch boxes, and crafty things, etc. <laughs> what? Is that the company? I don't know. And then obviously this is like a bedroom set, which I love, like, how great is that? We have like a actual bed with fabric, you know, blanket, dresser. There's some repeating, repeat pieces here. You know, we got the, the lantern, the pitcher, and the bowl again, the chair, and the, one of many chairs. This dresser is new, so that's kind of nice. It's like this one, I guess, with the mirror, but Hopefully won't be driving me crazy with this mirror that won't stay up. Fortunately, the uh, this is already popping up, coming off, so I can... I guess I'm going to do it! <laughs> Let's clear some space. I'm going to move all this stuff. Alright, so here it is. It's so old and so like dry that the, it's like already peeling up right here. So this is just gonna come right off. Oop, and there it all goes. There it is. You got this great molded plastic part where everything was held. It's kind of cool. I like that. And then this came off so nice and clean. Good, now we just have this nice little paper card. I didn't even notice it has like a dot, little dot pattern that's sort of like irregular and overlapping on the back. It's pretty cute. Not for children under three years old, so thankfully I aged out of that group. All right, so here we have our bits. We have our fabric bed with the little woven fabric bed clothes. It's folded over at the top with a, with a stitch seam. Very nice. It's kind of a sleigh bed style. This is glued down. The fabric is just cut and loose, so it's fraying on the edges. But what do you expect? It was $2. So there's our bed. Lovely. Our nightstand. I mean, I do appreciate, like, look at that. Little fluted kind of... Uh, carved bottom there and then it has little shelves like they're so small you could not put anything on them and any in any capacity we'll put our lantern on there very nice and here's the dresser more kind of nice curved articulated edges on that we don't have a reflected mirror unfortunately it is hollow on the back so let's Snag this mirror from this kind of ugly dresser and see if that looks okay. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. This other dresser is quite tall. It's nice because the, the drawers are like not uh, not fully symmetrical. The one at the top is like a narrow kind of lingerie chest type skinny drawer and we have our little chair bedside chair and our pitcher and our bowl oops i love i really love this bowl look how great that is it's just white plastic you know, hollow on the inside, it really is a bowl. And you can, uh, it's got stands, ooh, wow, look at that. Talent, balance. And the pitcher has a, you know, cut through handle on it. Can you even see it? Oh God. <laughs> this is so hard. All right, that's pretty cute, right? Wasn't much to unbox, but I do like it. Why is there always just a empty chair in like every bedroom? I guess it's to throw clothes on your bed or throw clothes on your chair so you don't have to put it on your bed. When I was growing up, I was a, uh, I had an empty chair. It was a fake Eames chair and uh, had that in my room, but I always had to put something in the chair at night, like 
on the chair because I felt like if it was empty, it would, like, encourage a, <laughs> a ghost <laughs> to come and sit in it. <laughs> so I, as if having, like, a whatever crumpled up sweatshirt or something sitting on the chair was going to stop that from happening, but I did do that for many years. I, I guess I was a little... Little nervous little boy. It's still true. Still a little nervous little little man. That was my whole that was my whole video plan for today. Just to show you this stuff. It looks pretty good though. I I do like it. I, I am glad to have it. Um okay, well that sums it up. Thanks for hanging out with me with this funny little idea of a video. Um I will see you all next week with another new video, so until then, take care.